This is so sick and fucking twisted! Sick and twisted! This is personal. Okay, who looked up bisexual men in leather jackets whimpering on my phone? It was me. Christian is pregnant. That's what I'm saying. I get that. But in what world would Blueface really be putting his hands on the bitch? This is so sick and fucking twisted! Sick and twisted! Well, let's bring him out. Here's Eric Cartman. This is so sick and fucking twisted! Sick and twisted! My life is complicated enough. The last thing I need is more drama. Hey, Miley. Hello, drama. Also... I don't know. Light work, no reaction. Light work, no reaction. Ooh. Okay, it's got a little kick. A lousy dick if I was suffocating and there was oxygen in your balls. Sometimes people can make a mistake and you can kindly let them know and help them to grow. Oh, that was crazy. I've never actually experienced that sort of atmosphere again before. It's absolutely electric. I don't know what day it is. I don't know what time it is. I haven't eaten in probably two days. I'm just trying to sort of push through. This is so sick and fucking twisted! Sick and twisted! I don't play World of Warcraft. Butters, you said you're on your computer all the time. Yeah, but I'm playing Hello Kitty Island Adventure. A lot of fanfiction authors will write certain stories over and over again because of maybe certain psychological proclivities. Like, maybe you really like found family because that's something that you don't have in your own life, or you like to project certain anxieties onto your favorite character no matter what fandom you're in. And that's, like, totally fine. I think a lot of us are smart enough to know that happens, and it's, like, a good way to work through some stuff or address some stuff or you find it interesting. And I just think it's weird because I don't think I have a lot of that necessarily, but for the last Last, like 18 months I can't stop writing characters choking each other out and I don't know I know how to text and drive I'm not a fan oh, I guess oh, I guess oh, 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 I can finally leave Martha I'm coming home sweetie I'm back in the fucking building again <laughs> and admit you're in danger. Who are you talking to right now? First, can I explain how much I want to take this man's dick from the back of slipping like it's my last Thanksgiving meal? Like, oh my God, I want him to turn into his Titan. How we feeling out there tonight? <laughs> yeah, I am not feeling good. Wait, wait, baby, don't do that. No. I don't wanna do that. Oh. Shut my muscle. I am? I, <laughs> that's so silly. I would imagine that. Riding in the I think I'm feeling it now, just like you.
just one of those things where if you read fan fiction, you're going to come across it at some point. It's kind. It's like you're always at some point in your life going to read a fic that has untagged water sports. It's just like that. Now, I have read a lot of fan fiction. I am a huge fan of Omegaverse fan fiction. I also read a lot of Harry Potter fan fiction when I was younger, which means I have read a lot of Mpreg, and it hasn't all been tagged, and it hasn't all been Omegaverse. And I thought that I had come across every conceivable way for it to get worked into the story, but oh boy was I wrong. See, this morning I was reading a lovely Destiel Omegaverse fic. I hadn't read the tags because I'm lazy. And I, I got the feeling that I was about to encounter some Empreg. And I realized at that moment that there was a slight problem, wherein Dean and Kaz had not done the deed yet. B but one of them was pregnant fucking virgin mary shit now when i thought about this for more than like three seconds i realized what had happened in the fic that that made this possible uh i don't know if i can explain it uh to you if you want i can try but it sure was an experience the omegaverse truly is the gift that just keeps on giving <laughs> And what after that? <laughs> Why would you write this? Why would you write this book? I have had the worst week of my life. And I needed you. <gasps> Reading fanfiction authors notes Zoxo. Fun fact, I wrote this entirely on my phone, like a psychopath, while my neighbors were being loudly arrested. Hope you enjoyed. I'm still alive. My brother almost unalived me, which is why this took so long, but I'm okay now. Hi, it's me. I had this half finished for Pride Month last year, but then I got hired for my first ever real teaching job, had spine surgery, taught a whole year of high school science, bought a house, and decided to get engaged, and yeah, wow, life gets, yeah, you know? I can finally be like those other authors and all those memes. <clears throat> The reason this chapter took so long is because of school, mental health stuff, and also my house nearly burnt down. But we stay silly. Enjoy! Let me show you exactly how much of a psycho crazy bitch I can be. Would you like to enjoy a, a sack of nuts? Would I like to enjoy a sack of nuts? Would you like to enjoy an ass whooping? See, this is the shit that I'm talking about. I don't really understand the boys kissing or the girls kissing tag on AO3. Like, I sure hope there is. I sure hope there are boys kissing in my gay fanfiction. What? This place is crazy. Hey, and I know this might be a bad time right now, but uh, you owe me $32,000 in legal fees. What? I'm reading my silly little fan fictions and I have my silly little drink in the parking lot of this Dollar Tree because if I do not have a moment to myself to do this like once a week for about an hour, it is not a question of if, but when you will find me and my car at the bottom of the nearest lake. Hello Christ, I'm about to sin again. I said I love you to that man, but I'm not feeling it. Oh my god, no, it's John Wick. Amen. Amen. My dear sweet child, that's what I do. It's what I live for. You are a normal, regular civilian. Act like it. <laughs> This is intermediate. I'm a beginner. <laughs>